much to talk about today. So this weekend wrapped up the Music Man at the middle school, which I'm really sad about because I loved those kids and they were really a lot of fun to work with and um, my costume girls especially are like little sisters to me. Um, and I feel really bad for some of them because, you know, they're in eighth grade and they're going through that whole thing we went through when we were leaving. Because we felt like, you know, it was like the end of something. But I tried to explain to them that they're going to have another theater family and they're going to love it just as much, if not more. But I guess that's something that they'll have to figure out for themselves. So this is the playbill. Music man, yay! And I am mentioned right there. Ugh. Ugh. Woo! Yay! I'm also mentioned in the back for spending countless hours behind a sewing machine, which I did. And then on the last night, I got a flower after the show. Um, when, uh, they came out, after they did their bows, they gave out flowers to everyone who was a really big help. Um, and Graham was a traveling salesman. He is J.C. Squire's understudy. Um, it was a really good show. They did a good job. Um, I don't know if you guys remember back to our 8th grade show when we did Guys and Dolls and how Josh ran off stage and forgot his mic was going to be on for a little bit and started like cursing out about one of the mothers in the middle of a show, which was kind of embarrassing. Oh, and I think Meg... Meg, I'm pretty sure you were like, shit, I missed my entrance. Because I was talking to Mrs. Pond, and I'm pretty sure she said you you did that, which is kind of funny if you think about it. Uh, just, a little enter just, just a little entertaining. Just a little. <laughs> Only a little. But they had a failure of the mics on opening night, um, which kind of sucked. Because then they were trying to fix the mics, and all the mics got turned on, and we were busy backstage telling them um, that their mics weren't working, so they had to be louder, but all the mics were on, so, yeah. Mrs. Durkin was really mad. Like, really mad. Which is completely understandable, because I was kind of really pissed off, too. A lot. But... Other than that, they did a fantastic job, um, but we weren't allowed to videotape it, so, yeah. So sad. Anyway, the Thanksgiving parade was today, and I went with Dance to Music, and I was basically in the middle of everybody, because it was five, or nine by ten, and I was five down and five across, so I was, like, in the middle. Um... I parked outside of Meg's house. Yeah, and then I walked to where I had to go to at the beginning. Then we went all through the parade. And then, um, that was like a mile and a half. And then I had to walk a mile and a half back to my car. It was fun. Actually, though, it really was fun. I did enjoy myself. It was a good time. Um, a good workout. Anyway, this whole, um, mustache thing Chelsea's doing, yeah, I'm embracing it. I'm embracing it. It's happening. Right now. Wasn't quite sure what kind of mustache I wanted to do, but now I think I know. And I feel like Katie's going to sort of remember this one. Katie's going to remember this one. Uh, I think it was Beauty and the Beast rehearsals with gaff tape. <laughs> and Graham. We were really obnoxious. 
I feel like Jesse Slaughter's dad right now. Bleh. Except for he's dead. This is so uncomfortable! Ah! <laughs> oh, I look so stupid. This is my mustache. Ian would be very proud. I'm having too much fun with this. There. And just for the heck of it. There we go. This is my um, rapist mustache. And little goatee. There you go, Chelsea. So I'm just going to do the rest of my vlog in this. This is really uncomfortable. I feel like my face can't move. I know where you live. <laughs> Honestly, though, I don't have much to talk about. Um, Dear and Grace coming up soon, December 9th. That's like a little more than two weeks away. It'll be two weeks next Friday. Um, and they'll be performing with the Birthday Massacre. And this is really uncomfortable to wear, Chelsea. Oh, my word. Um, I finish school on Tuesday at 12.30. So I am free after that. So when you guys all come home for Thanksgiving, hit me up with my awesome mustache goatee. Oh, and totally random, because I just thought of it now, and I was going to forget to tell you. Um, my psych teacher brought in her puppies on Friday so that we could do conditioning, and it was really fun. And it would have been more fun if we could actually do the conditioning, but they were, like, so tired, because there were three or four other classes ahead of us. And they had been getting, like, little kibbles in each class so that they would, like, they would get the kibble as the reward instead of dog treats, because then they would get sick. Um, but they got kibble instead, but, like, they were full by the time they got to our class, so they didn't want to do it because they weren't getting anything anymore. Um, <laughs> but they were really cute. They were little Yorkies. They were adorable. Little babies. They were so cute. I wish I could have gotten pictures, but I don't have an awesome phone. This is really uncomfortable to wear, Chelsea. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm going to go do my psychology homework because, you know me, I love doing my homework ahead of when it's due. No, not at all. I like waiting till the last minute and you all know it. Somehow, though, I'm still managing uh, 4.0, so not sure how that happened, but it did because I don't do anything and I just stay at home all day and not do my homework, but I don't go out and party, so... Yeah, I just, I do my homework and I go on the computer. I'm I'm a very boring person. And I'm really uncomfortable because this mustache is really uncomfortable. Oh my god, Chelsea. Anyway, for reals though, I'm going now because I need to do my psych homework. Ah, this is so uncomfortable. Alright, one, two, three. Ow. Oh my god, that hurts. Ew, it's all wet. Ew. 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 Here it goes.